The first string type we're going to create is a grading string. Grading strings start life on top of a polyline. The polyline essentially becomes the alignment which controls the horizontal position of the grading string. They're really great for simple geometry, so for simple shapes. They're also very good when it comes to creating a quick vertical profile. Maybe you want to create some elevations linearly along a string. These are great because you don't have to apply a template or a shape on top. They're ideally used for scenarios such as basins, building pads, car parks, lots, even islands on the roadways. These are ideal for this. Outcomes of creating a grading string are that we have the option to create a surface which can be viewed in Model Viewer and also we can obtain volumes against the target surface. The polyline that we use remains grip editable and editable with your CAD tools, meaning that as we move the polyline and adjust it, the string will update. Lastly, all of the editing and management of the grading string is all done via the one single form, meaning that it's a great start to learn string design and civil site design. In the project, we're going to be creating three grading strings. For each one, we're going to be adding an additional level of complexity and exposing more of the tools to get you used to using the grading strings. The first grading string we create will be very simple. We'll be using the following red polyline, which is located around the edge of the development. This is going to form the tie-in later on between our proposed model and the existing surface. Once we've completed that, we will be then creating our basin and employing the use of templates. Following the basin, we'll be then creating the building pad or building platform, and this will introduce more complexity with regards to the vertical design. 